sometimes you're eager to make a deal. Sometimes you're so eager you say nutty things to fake Muslims with a five million dollar check. And then sometimes things get really nuts. This week we heard of a truly unusual deal that was attempted on a world scene. Our panelists are going to tell you three stories about crazy deals. Choose the true story you'll win Carl's voice in your home answering machine or a voice memo. Oh, that's the overlook thing. Ready to fly? Yeah, sure am. Want to go up there? Oh, that's here. Um, well, too late now. Well, you go back. Well, it's going to be difficult. So chicken and every you have to turn across over here. Now, with today's laser targeting technology and a hush hush big parking lot for jet fuel with the government of Thailand, it could happen. Recently, leaked statements by the people that revealed the scheme by Lockheed Martin to sell F-16 fighter jets to the Thai government in exchange for 80,000 tons of frozen chicken stockpiled during the avian flu epidemic. Well, you laugh, but 80,000 tons of chickens at current market commodity prices equals $136 million. That's that kind that of hurts. money will buy 9 or 10 F-16s at ah, most of your neighborhood jet retailers. The only problem is, it's not really money. It's chicken. <coughs> the bomb over 30 million American homes with oven-seeking pinpoint accuracy. Perhaps that's what our government had in mind when they decided to endorse the deal. But we'll never know because the Thai regime behind the scheme was overthrown in a military coup before the transaction could take place. The Thai Air Force did not get the jets, but we understand the mess serves a very meaty hot Thai chicken soup. Chickens for jets with Thailand. Your next story of a bad deal comes from Faith Sailor. The Alpine village of Ansi, France, wants to win the bid for the 2018 Winter Olympics. But the Ministry of Culture overseeing the bid doesn't have a sense of humor. So, in an effort to appeal to the International Olympic Committee, make sure that we venerate only what is most French as we seek to win the games for France. In preparation for a visit from the IOC, the statue has been evicted from the town square and replaced with three mines on eight-hour shifts. Hey, French town. We give up the statue of Jerry Lewis in return for an Olympic bid. The last story of someone trying to make an uneven trade comes from Mo Rock.